Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about uh, HR 127 because both sides, fine people on both sides, have been asking about it. Um, and everybody seems to think it's a bad bill. Doesn't matter where they're at on this particular issue. They're like, this seems really bad. It is. It, it is as bad as it seems. That's also why you probably shouldn't worry about it too much um, from the standpoint of it being implemented. There are a lot of political ramifications to it that we'll get to in a second. But first, what's the bill? It is a bill designed to require licensing, training requirements, uh, insurance for gun owners. Okay. Logistically, Yes, the bill doesn't make sense because it requires those people who it's aimed at, which are those who would have issues in the future, to report themselves. That seems like super unlikely. Um, the insurance is uh, an issue as well. While it may seem like a good idea on paper, you have somebody who is monetarily on the hook for the actions of that owner. The downside to it is the cost to the owner. Right now, you have people who are choosing between food and rent. They're not going to be able to pay for the insurance. It disarms poor people. That's what this bill does. The people who had the money to fly up to D.C. for the 6th, oh, they get to keep their guns. It's it's a bad bill, okay? Um, it doesn't... I didn't see anything in it about closing the DV loophole. Seriously? The one thing that everybody can agree on, nobody's going to introduce a bill on, right? Okay. So, if you are pro-Second Amendment, all right, calm down. This will never make it through the Senate under any circumstance. You would have to have a whole bunch of Republicans not only suddenly embrace gun regulation, but embrace objectively bad gun regulation. Calm down. It's not going to happen. To those who support sensible regulation, this isn't it. This isn't it. At the end of the day, this is one of those bills that makes it... It, it becomes a crime for poor people, but if you have money, it's okay. That's the end result of this. It doesn't actually accomplish the goal. If you are a Democrat, you are the only person who really needs to worry. If you are a true you know, Democratic Party member, this bill is, is handing the Republican Party the House in 2022. This will create a lot of single-issue voters a lot of people who don't have money are going to be told they're trying to, to, to disarm you with everything going on right now. And it'll work. Aside from that, I would point out there, there's no way this is going to get through the Senate. It won't pass. So you're handing them a campaign tool for something that has zero chance of ever being enacted the bill should probably be withdrawn before it gets too far and too much attention gets drawn to it. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.